everybody all my followers uh, welcome to another video um, right for you guys that follow my channel uh, this is something that you're not used to um, my videos usually are on car repairs this time is something different uh, but um, although I was not to record this video because I put the printer all back together I'm just gonna tear it apart again so I can show you uh, the fix but basically I've been asked to look at this printer um, this printer is not doing it now because it's repaired but the printer basically what, what the printer would do is as soon as you would turn on the printer it would come up with a red screen with a message something about an error it was pretty much straight away um, it wouldn't do all the startup checks or anything like that it would be like within couple seconds will come up with a blue uh, with a red screen uh, with an error I can't remember what the re what the error would state but we'd come up with an error so I got the printer here and uh, start to inspect the printer and when I've opened this door uh, you can still see actually I've seen it was way worse than that believe me uh, it was everywhere but it was yellow uh, ink everywhere now if you are watching this video and it might be because you are looking uh, to this problem yourself maybe you are coming across this problem uh, this problem is 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 I'm going to show you what what causes the problem but if you looked at other videos you already know what the problem is now my research was that uh, when I was looking for parts see if I could find the parts for it uh, my research was in vain. I couldn't find any parts, uh, even on uh, uh, like uh, dedicated websites that sell only parts. I couldn't find that for sale, and forums and stuff like that. Uh, I couldn't find a solution. Uh, now the printer is working again. I'm going to show you what I've done to fix it, um, and then I'll put it back together and I'll show you, um, and I'll show you the printer actually working. So I'm going to open it again so I can show you what uh, how I fix it. Okay guys, so I I've I've, uh, I've dismantled the printer just for you just so I can show you. Um so yeah, so these guys was absolutely yellow everywhere. I clean as much as I can. Uh it's, it's, I know it's still not looking very good, but uh but it's working. So I've took this cover off just so I can show you what's behind but like I said there's other videos out there that shows you what's in there so you, what you have is you have these uh, building pressures here so basically what happens is you have this vacuum pump that pulls the ink from there fills these uh, sort of pressure areas here and then sends it to the printer head and this membrane here as you can see is, is under pressure and you have this that goes on the top and this is spring loaded so there's one for the top one and then there's another three they're all spring loaded okay so what this does is this just keeps pressing pressing uh, this membrane to continue it to make pressure in, in the ink now the yellow one which was this last one here was burst so it just came out just split completely I've checked all the other ones all the other ones are quite good still so he's not starting to split or anything like that. Uh, it was just the yellow one. So what I've done, guys, what I've done is I've cut a piece of plastic and I've just put some epoxy resin, resin around here. So it's absolutely rock hard. Um, and yeah, that's what I've done. So I cover it up. Yes, we don't have this pressure here as a such. But I thought, I can't find the parts. There's nothing else I can do other than try this and see what happens. So I've done this. So it's covered up. I'm, obviously, the system is filled already with ink. Because uh, I had it printed already. Uh, and that's what I did to repair this problem. So I'm, I'm just going to put this back in there. Put the print together and I'm going to show you that the printer is working just fine. Okay, so it's all back together and what I'm going to show you now is that the printer is working just fine. I'm going to get something here that has 
yellow on it. Okay, so as you can see, it's ready to scan or print, whatever. I'm gonna put uh, density on maximum. As you can see, it's printing perfectly. I know this is just a little bit of yellow, but believe me, guys, I've printed, as you can see in there, loads and loads and loads of yellow. And uh, just to make sure that you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't stop printing yellow or start to miss the yellow because it doesn't have that sort of pressure in there on that layer membrane. But Judging by the amount of stuff I printed already, it is just fine. As you can see, uh, I printed loads of, of yellow stuff already, and it prints fine every single time. So, so yeah, guys, uh, that's that's how you can repair this printer if you have that, that same problem. Um, okay, once again, for the people that follow my channel, I know this is not... The type of video I used to. Uh, nevertheless, I decided to share this uh, with, uh, with, uh, with everybody, really. So, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, any comments or questions, uh, just please uh, put them below. And like always, thank you for watching. Guys, one last thing, very important, I forgot to mention. And uh, before I start to get comments below just I, I just thought it would be better to just have this at the end of the video hopefully you will last until here so you can hear this a little bit uh, the main reason I believe uh, why the error is coming up or was coming up straight away at the start uh, I don't think was because the yellow was burst uh, I don't think there's a way uh, the printer knows uh, the pressure or there's no pressure there or something like that. I don't think that's the problem. Why I think was happening. Uh, but either way, it's important that you do that. Um, right. I don't I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Probably not. But right here where the carriage is, the printer head is, you have the belt. And right above the belt, there's a, a strip all the way along. And that, it, when you look, it looks like a grey strip. Just uh, runs in there, but when you look closely, it's not just a plastic strip. That strip is plastic, but is filled with bars, like a barcode. Yeah, and that is basically uh, is is a reader. It is is how the carriage knows its position, where it is. It reads through that strip with those those little bars, so it knows how many bars is moved. Um, it, it's just okay. It, it's just how it works. How he knows where it is. That needs to be cleaned. Otherwise, the the optical eye, let's put it like that, that reads that uh, strip, is not going to read and it's going to fail. Another place where you have a similar thing is here on the side. You have a disc, which is the same principle uh, for the paper as it pulls the paper. Same thing make sure that's completely cleaned if that's covered up he's not going to read the position <coughs> sorry guys and he's going to fail so it's very important that uh, that you clean that um, everywhere else yeah not so important those little bits is very important that you clean uh, and when you clean obviously make sure you clean the eye that reads that uh, strip and that uh, disc on the side make sure you clean it as well uh, that's very important uh, so yeah just wanted to have that make sure uh, you clean that because otherwise it might be that you fix that put it all together and you still have the same error because the printer when he does the checks of the startup he can't 
it can't read the strip or the disc and it's gonna fail with an error as well okay so now that's it that's the end of the video thank you for watching